Right guys, welcome to another cook along video. This is the third or fourth week now I think. Uh, and today we're gonna make some Moroccan meatballs and couscous. So if you like spaghetti and meatballs, these are like spaghetti meatballs, but just loads better, loads more spicy, uh, loads more flavor, and something a little bit different as well. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get the couscous going because it doesn't take very long to cook, but it's really, really benefits from having a little bit of a rest. So like me really, I love to have a rest too. But, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn on the, uh, the heat here. Um, and what you need to do is get yourself a little bit of oil into a pan. Now you need to use a saucepan that you've got a lid for as well, because that's kind of how it rests is, we're gonna leave the lid on and we're gonna get that to sort of just steam once we've got this first bit done. But I want you to take some oil, okay? Probably about a tablespoon of oil in there. And some of your cumin seeds. So these should uh, be easy enough to find in the supermarket, or if you're one of the people that we've dropped food off to, you'll have these in your thing. So you want about a table, uh, sorry, about a teaspoon of cumin seeds. This is going to flavour in the oil. Just looking for those to start to fizz in the oil. You'll see that they start to sort of crackle a little bit. Okay, move it round the spoon. And whilst that's going, I'm just going to get you to. Oh, I forgot my knife. Give me two seconds. Okay, so with uh, the knife, I just want you to slice half a lemon ready. Right, so that is sizzling quite hard. This this thing is always really, really hot. Your one at home probably you want it like on a medium heat, really. Okay, so once those seeds start to uh, to cook and brown like they are here, I'm going to take your couscous. Okay, so got about 200 grams of couscous there. I'm going to go in. Okay, and then what I want you to do is to work all of those seeds and oil into the couscous, okay? So once the seeds and the oil are all coated the couscous and it sort of starts to toast in the pan, we are just going to take some stock. So you should have made up a pint of stock, so if you've got two stock cubes, make it quite intense because we're going to use half of it in here, so half a pint of stock to 200 grams of couscous. Okay, and the other half of the stock I'm going to use in the actual meatball dish itself, okay? So this is just going to go in, half a, half a pint roughly. So you want the couscous to just be covered over, okay? And let's bring it back up to the boil, and you should, to know it's right, you should just have a tiny bit of water covering the top of that couscous, okay? So I've used yeah, maybe just slightly less than half a pint there, okay? That's all right. So just let that tick over for a second. And as you stir it, you should sort of see the couscous kind of soaking it up. All couscous really is, it's a bit like pasta, but tiny, tiny little balls. Um, and it's, it really absorbs flavour, so using the stock and those cumin seeds in there will really make it tasty. Now just to, before you finish, just take that lemon that you sliced and give that half a squeeze of lemon as well. Okay, so that can go into there. Get rid of the half a lemon. Okay, now once that comes back up to the boil, which this is doing, you'll see almost that the, uh, the stock virtually disappeared, okay? You're gonna just put the lid on, like that, and then take it off the heat, and literally just forget about it now until we've cooked our meatballs, all right? So that couscous is done, so, so simple, nice, easy alternative to pasta, okay? So I'm gonna get a big, heavy saucepan on now, okay? So I want you guys to do the same. Get it again on a medium heat, uh, and I've just realised I've forgotten my peppers as well. Bear with me two seconds. And I forgot my salt, so disorganised today. Right, okay, so you should have a pepper. I'm going to use a green pepper today. Okay, so... Well, actually, I'm going to use two because my peppers are really small. If you've got a big one, that's fine, or two small ones. Okay, so I'm just going to take the th two thumbs at the middle of the pepper, pop my thumb in, rip it apart, yeah? So you literally just take that seed bit out entirely, okay? Do the same again. So fingers in, pop it, and rip it, okay? And you can just rip those seeds out the middle. Really easy. And then I'm going to get a bit of oil in the pan. Medium heat. And again, some cumin seeds are going to go in there, because they, when you put the cumin seeds into the oil, it kind of releases the oils from the cumin seeds, 
It makes them really, really tasty. That is in cumin. <laughs> that was coriander, never mind. Cumin seeds in there, okay. Right, so just going to really, like, roughly chop this pepper. I actually want some chunks in this uh, soup. Well, this uh, meatball kind of, it's going to be like a tomato sauce, spicy tomato sauce. It's quite nice to have big chunks of pepper in there. So I'm just cutting it into long strips like that, okay? Not cutting it too finely at all. They can go straight into the pan. I'm turn this up a little bit because it's not even hot. I'm going to turn up. Yep. Okay, that's going to heat up. And then I'm going to take the two onions as well. And again, I'm going to chop them quite roughly. So I'm going to take the top off and the bottom off like that. Okay. Slice it in half. Take the skin off. On both ends. Okay, and then we're just going to go back into sort of five lengthways slices. So we get, some, again, some nice big chunks of onion. All right? So they're going to go around. You should really use a spoon, not your hands. Bad example, Adam. I'm terrible. At this stage, I would add a little bit of salt as well. The salt will help draw the moisture out of those. What we're trying to do is intensify the flavours of these uh, peppers and onions, okay? Because they're going to cook along whilst we make the meatballs in a minute. So the longer they're in there, the better, really. Let me just open my salt. Use my teeth. I'm at home, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to go in with a bit of salt. About a teaspoon of salt in there. That will just help to draw that moisture out. I'm going to go for that second onion now. Okay, so chop the onion. It always gets really smoky doing this in here, but I couldn't film in the kitchen because you guys wouldn't be able to see anything. Last week I did film it at the Grange, it's a bit of an easier angle, but my kitchen doesn't really lend itself to that, so I have to work in here. But never mind, it's all good. Alright, so into five again, or four, big chunks. Okay, I'm gonna be smoking a bit, just add a bit more oil, help it to fry, not to sort of burn. Okay, so that's cooking along nicely now. Okay, so whilst we cook that lot down, just going to start making the meatballs. So I've got 500 grams of meat in there, okay? Nice big pinch of salt. Salt helps to bind this, but we're also going to throw in an egg as well. Okay, so we've got an egg here. You crack a whole egg into your pan with the meat and the salt. Okay, then we're going to go in with some. This is smoked paprika. Now this gives loads of awesome flavour. Really, really tasty. So you put, mix that into there. Okay, you need some garlic to go in there too. So I'm just going to. Take two cloves of garlic, I'm going to move that to one side so you can see what I'm doing. Two cloves of garlic. Then I'm going to crush those. One, two, I probably should have got a bigger knife, but there we go. So I'm going to take the skins off those. Okay, and then just slice them up. Real slow, real small. You don't want to have big chunks of garlic. And your meatball. So take a little bit of time over this. Keep remembering to stir your pan as you go. Just sweating those onions down. Looking good. All right. I'm going to keep chopping my chopping my, yeah, chopping my garlic. The seesaw method, you should probably use a bigger knife than I'm using, but there we go. Use what you've got. Okay, so that goes in there. Now we're going to go in with some black pepper, about a teaspoon again, black pepper. Okay, a little bit of coriander too, which is what I put in there originally. 
There's gonna, these flavours are all going to run through this whole sort, uh, whole kind of uh, dish. So we will also be putting some of these, pe these spices into here, but not just yet because they'll burn, and I don't want to add the spices to the pan too soon. Okay. So I'm going to use. In fact, I'm going to use this spoon to mix this in. Okay. So because the egg will have made that quite loose. Okay. So what we're going to do there, once you've kind of worked some of those spices and the salt and everything together is we're going to add in 200 grams of breadcrumbs, okay, so that's about right. So, and then I'm going to get my hands in there and work these meatballs. So you should basically squeeze it all together to make sure that there is no lines. Do you know how like it looks like kind of mince, kind of looks like um, worms or something, yeah? Well. You want to make sure that you work all of that out of it, okay? So that is about right, okay? Cool. So you should have something that looks a little bit like that. So now, all we need to do, excuse me, I'm going to close the door in this house because I'm smoking it out. One second. Okay, right, so. What we're going to do now is I'm going to move this onto here, okay, and I'm going to make about 10 meatballs out of that. So it's going to take a little bit like that. And just roll it in your hand, okay, you don't want them to be too big because they take ages to cook then, okay. So that kind of golf ball size, yeah, do them roughly, and do, keep going with these. Three, and stir this around a bit more. These are starting to caramelise now, which is great. What we want. Okay, I'm going to actually give, give that a little bit of stock, just to loosen off the bottom. That's going to help them to start to sort of steam. We're also just going to intensify the flavour of that stock later on. So we start working that in there, as we make these meatballs, letting the stock evaporate, intensify the flavour in that pan. So that's three meatballs. Keep going. So, four meatballs. I said ten, didn't I? I'm guessing. Five. Six. Maybe a few more. Who knows? It's making them slightly bigger now so that I'm more accurate. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Boom. Done this once or twice before, as you can probably tell. So, ten meatballs, done. Right, with this now, I kind of use that stock to lift all of the kind of, there's a lot of natural sugars in the um, peppers and in the onions and it starts to become sticky and caramelised. So using a bit of stock just loosens the pan. Because what we're going to do now is you just using the same bowl that the meatballs were in, just going to scrape that across into there. Okay? We're going to use those again shortly. But for now, back onto the pan, back onto the heat, sorry. Okay, and we're going to go in with some more oil. Okay, about a tablespoon of oil in there. We're just going to fry off these meatballs. Just kind of cook the outside. Now they don't need to be cooked all the way through because we're going to then start building the sauce around them. But what we do need to do is what we call seal the outsides. So it keeps the moisture in and it'll stop them from falling apart as well. So we're just going to fry those in there for a moment or two. I'm going to move my... Thing. I'm just going to wash my hands, because, and so should you now, because we're touching raw meat, okay? And I'm not going to touch it again, I'm going to use like a spoon uh, to move these around in here. So I'm just going to wash them very, very quickly, and I'll be back. So 
Okay, we're cooking in real time here, so this is all good. Okay, let's roll my sleeves up. So, where's my spoon? Here it is. So I've got my caramelizer in the packers, right? And then we're just going to move these meatballs around and just kind of wait till the outsides have kind of gone brown. Move that one around. You're going to have to keep moving them in the fat. Now, it's quite good <coughs> to use fairly high fat content mince for this. Firstly, because fat is flavour. Don't be afraid of fat because the rest of this dish is really healthy. <coughs> but also, um, some of the fat's going to escape into the pan and keep things juicy. It'll be juicy and delicious, and we get this lovely golden kind of crust on the outside of these meatballs. So, just going to keep working those. And as I say, you only need to brown the outside, they don't need to be cooked all the way through because when it's going to cook, the sauce and everything else goes in there with it. Um, it will kind of poach the inside and just allow it to become really tasty. It's a bit of a slow process. Ideally, you're going to be cooking this for a little bit longer than I am, so I'm probably going to stop early, or early on to show you. But you can. The best thing to do is really, once these are brown, cook it for around about half an hour. And because we're cooking in real time, I don't want to do that with you guys because you'll be watching me do very little. Okay, but it's a great dish that you can kind of have prepared now and then serve it for tea time, you know. Serve it an hour or two later, you can just heat it up, the meatballs ain't going to fall apart because you've got that egg in there, you've got the breadcrumbs, and all just, they should hold together nicely. Alright, so we're nearly brown the outsides now, just going to keep them moving, there's a few little bits. Basically, roll, roll the meatballs around in the pan, and if you see any pink bits, they're still kind of uh, showing, and then just roll them so that they're face down and they seal off on the bottom of the pan. You start to see bits might stick, that's okay because we're going to deglaze the pan again in a minute with some more of the stock. But before we do that, I'm just going to add in some, a few spices. Okay, so as these are now brown, spices are going to go in. So I'm going to go for a teaspoon of smoked paprika. One of my favourite spices, it's absolutely delicious. I'm adding some chilli because I like a little bit of heat, you don't have to do that, if you don't want to. A teaspoon of coriander. Okay, and some black pepper. And you'll see that, that those spices are kind of dancing around in the fat that's come out of, of the added some oil, but also the fat that has come out, out of the um, the meatballs as well. So just work those spices into the fat, but they will very quickly burn. Okay, so give them about 30 seconds in that fat, and then what I'm going to get you to do is add, because <coughs> I'll start to get in the air, add in some more of the stock. Okay, so about a quarter of my stock that was, and you'll, this is what we call deglazing the pan, so it's going to fizz up, okay, but it's going to stop all of that. Um, all the stuff that would potentially burn, it's going to stop that and it's going to bring it all into the sauce, okay? So that, now, is cooking along nicely and it's giving that time to, again, to reduce the amount of uh, stock in there which intensifies the flavour, because the, the water goes and the flavour remains. Alright, so now, what I'm going to do is add back in my peppers and onions. I'm going to start to build the sauce. Okay, so peppers and onions go in. Lovely jubbly. They're going to bring a little bit of sweetness to the dish. Okay, now we're going to go in with our chickpeas. Now chickpeas are a really good Moroccan um, dish, or not dish, sorry, ingredient. Uh, use loads and stews and stuff, thicken things up, give it lots of substance. Means you need less meat because you've got a load of these chickpeas in there as well. So I've, I've drained the can, so don't, if you've got a can of chickpeas there, drain the water off, okay, and just put the chickpeas in. The chickpeas are going to go in there for me. Alright, keep, keep that going. Looks good. Looks really good. Okay, and then, finally, I'm going to add in some chopped tomatoes. And also, I'm going to take the other half of this lemon, I'm just going to slice 
a few pieces of the pith off. Now, this isn't to eat, you've got to take this out at the end, but the flavour that will come off that, just put four in, so they're easy enough to find, they've got big chunks of lemon, lemon skin, but put those in, mix them through, and the heat will bring all the goodness of them out, okay? And you'll, at the end, you'll end up with like a sort of lemony undertone to the, the stew. Okay, so it's gonna be really good. I'm just gonna get that back up to the boil now. I'm probably gonna need the last bit of that stock in there, I think. So just pour that in. And then I'm gonna turn my heat right up until until we get this bubbling, and then once you've got the heat, because we've put a lot of cold stuff in there then, right, so what we've got to do is get that heat back in the pan, and then once the heat's in, you can reduce the heat uh, back down to sort of medium again. All right, so let's just get that nice and hot. Cool, right, whilst we're waiting, <coughs> excuse me, it's a little bit uh, spicy in the air in here. I'm just going to grab the couscous. So that couscous has been sat there the whole time. You'll feel when you take the lid off, it's still really hot, okay? And a lot of the sauce in this stew will soak up. Well, the couscous will soak it up, right? I'm gonna come in close so you can see. So you'll see that it's like, looks solid, yeah? In the pan, but what you need to do is get a pork, okay? And just fluff it, fluff it, fluff it, fluff it. And it becomes a lovely, grain which will be awesome to lay down on your plate and then the meatballs to suck it all up okay soak it all up so it's a bit like rice or something so you can see that okay lovely loose grains and you've got all the flavor of that um well the cumin seeds but also the uh the stock that you used okay you've all been soaked up in that already all right so just whoa this is going hard now so i'm going to turn it down this is what I meant by get the heat back into the pan and then reduce it. That's probably going to need another couple of minutes. And I might as well keep you here and talk about next week. So next week, this is quite healthy, I suppose. But, you know, we've got to have a cheat day every now and then, haven't we? So next week, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Big Mac from scratch. Uh, so it'll be much better quality stuff in it than some McDonald's. And I imagine it'll be just as delicious. You'll probably say it's not. I think it is. But give it a go anyway. So next this time next week, tune in. You know, if you if any of your friends want to sort of uh, do a bit of a cook along with you, then you know by all means make sure that they get involved. Like, subscribe, comment. We'd love to see anything that you've made. You know, drop us a message at Young Shrewsbury. We'd love to see your creations. Right. As I say, that probably needs a little bit longer. But I'm going to serve it up now just to show you how you want to serve it. So. I'm going to go in with some couscous. It's kind of nice to make a bed of couscous like this. There we go. And then, so that's going to soak up all of the meatball. So, couscous on. I'm going to turn that right down, down now. Okay, and then you want to grab yourself a couple of meatballs. Maybe three, if you're feeling greedy like I am today. So we're going to put three meatballs into the pan. And then, once this is thickened, I'm going to go in and kind of scoop up some of that goodness. So, Lots of peppers, oops, try and make it look pretty. Peppers and make sure you get some of the uh, chickpeas and everything else. And there we have it. So I'll bring that up to you. So spicy Moroccan meatballs with couscous and peppers and chickpeas. Right, hope you enjoy it. I'd love to see your creations of this. I'll see you next week for the Big Mac. Take care.